Hey guys, Corey Gray here. Today we're gonna to be talking about the new Firefox Quantum, and I'm gonna show you how to set up your Firefox browser to where it is top secret ninja secure, where your data is secure, you feel like you're browsing in peace without all these different agencies spying on you with cookies and tracking and ads everywhere. Um, it's truly amazing this new Firefox Quantum because it's much faster, pages load super quick, and the browser is actually smaller than Google. I believe it's 30% smaller, pages load 44% faster, and what's really amazing about this Firefox community is they're a nonprofit. So they're not trying to scrape your data and sell you out for a buck. They're actually a community trying to help people. And what's cool about it is, in my opinion, it is way, way better as a browser than the Google Chrome browser, okay? So today I'm gonna to show you how to set this thing up like a ninja. And you guys are totally gonna to wanna to do this. Um, at least give it a shot, but I guarantee you won't go back. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. I already downloaded it. And you're gonna see here it says DuckDuckGo. I actually chose not to use Google search right here um, for my actual search engine. I, I chose to use DuckDuckGo because guys, DuckDuckGo also, check it out, the search engine that doesn't track you. So a lot of times, basically the whole world is using Google search and what's happening is Google is getting really, really weird to where, you know, they're trying, they've been quoted, they don't put certain things up, certain articles up because it may offend people. Um, they don't talk about certain people's backgrounds and things that could be offensive. And so they're, they're picking and choosing and I don't know what they're doing, but it's getting weird. And so DuckDuckGo is actually working way, way better in my opinion for search. I'm getting more relevant search. I'm not getting biased search and DuckDuckGo is the way to go. It says search engine that doesn't track you. We don't store your information. We don't follow you around with ads. And so you would just go to DuckDuckGo. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do that too real quick. So let's go ahead and go into options here. I'm gonna show you guys how to get this stuff set in place. So you would just push options once it opens up, go to search and uh, you can pick DuckDuckGo like as your search engine right there, DuckDuckGo. And I actually take Google off. I don't want Google anywhere in this thing, <laughs> all right? Um, we wanna kind of get free as much as we can from all these organizations that are trying to suck all the data out of us as possible. We want privacy, okay? And so let's go ahead and go to general and uh, show you kind of how to set this up here. Um, th this is pretty basic stuff. You won't really need to change much in here. Um, so we'll go to home and not much there. Search, we already did that. But here is where things start to stand out. So I put browser privacy on strict, which says it blocks all tracker that Firefox detects, um, blocks known trackers in all windows, third party cookie tracking, and it says blocking cookies could cause some websites to break, which you can actually, I'll show you how to do some of this in a minute. So it says send websites a do not track signal. You want that on always. Um, delete cookies and cite data when Firefox is closed, which is really awesome. So you can basically start fresh each time. Logins and passwords, um, save logins and passwords. So I actually do this. Um, I save my passwords, but then you can put a master password on top of it to where um, people can't even use your Firefox without this master password. And so history, what I do is I do use custom settings for history. So you can make it never remember history. And if you do that, you can't actually engage these two features, which I want because I have all these tabs and all these things. So that worked for me, but some people, Never remember history works, but if I do custom, I just make it to where it clears history when Firefox closes, which is amazing. That means people are not tracking us with cookies and finding out our every step online. All right, so that's pretty simple, 
right? I don't think there's anything else we need to do there. Um, next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some extensions. These are the extensions you need. One, two, three, four. This is just a couple other things that I added. What's that one? Anyways, these, these four. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna go over here and, uh, sorry, there's the wrong button. Let's click add-ons. And we're gonna go to extensions. Now these are the four you're gonna wanna add, okay? You're gonna add cookie auto delete, decentralize, and uh, I'll give you, sorry about that loud noise. Um, give you guys a minute to kind of write this down. Cookie auto delete, and you can just search right here. Cookie auto delete, decentralize, HTTPS everywhere, and then this one's very important, U block origin. Now, once you have these in place, <laughs> you have some serious, serious security measures in place to where you are not getting malicious software just snuck in on your computer system. It is very, very difficult for someone to sneak in a virus. It's very, very difficult for people to track you. It's, and it's very, very difficult for ads to pop. I haven't had any ads pop up since I've been using this and things have been moving so much faster. So put those in there. And then um, I haven't actually had to modify any of these things. Sometimes I will go in, sorry the background noise again guys, to uh, one of these if, it, if it's not working and uh, say a website's not working, you can go in and you'll get notified and you can go in and fix it. I'm not gonna do a whole deal on that, just kinda wanna show you the basics, but these things will run on their own, they will protect you. You don't really need to do anything, but you can allow, like for example, let's go to say, um, let's try Instagram. It may not load everything, but okay, it, it's probably gonna load everything, but say it didn't, you just click right here and you can give it permission for this site, okay? but you see it's blocking tracking cookies, secure connection, and you can give permissions if it's not working, okay? Now the one thing that's really, really cool, so say we close this out, and let's wait just a minute, and let's go ahead and click the auto cookie deal here, and there's our cookie auto delete, which is super cool, it deletes cookies, Instead of just when you close your browser, your cookies get deleted, it deletes it on a schedule. So you can actually click here, auto clean, let's go to settings. This is the one setting you'll want to engage. Enable auto cleaning, delay before cleaning 30 seconds. So see it's deleting cookies. So cookies are what track you when you go from page to page to page. And if it's being deleted every 30 seconds, you could even do you know 15 seconds then there's no tracking. They're not able to track you. And so that's how you do it, guys. That's how you set up your browser to where you can browse in peace, um, use DuckDuckGo, use uh, this new Mozilla much faster. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in learning more, you can check down below or subscribe to the channel, comment, let me know what you guys thought. And uh, if you like this, I will put out some more videos for you guys as well. Thanks so much.